Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. I just wanted to have a quick talk about this cylinder here and the part number is 31905PHESCKD. So these cylinders they do come key to differ and I'm going to tell you why this cylinder is so good. At them, okay, start off with this is the type of cylinder we're talking about here, this teardrop Euro cylinder and the one we're talking about is the one with the fixed cam where the part in the middle doesn't move other times you might see the cylinder around your house it might be on a screen door or another type of lock and that one might have a floating cam so we're not talking about the screen doors or the cylinders with the floating cam uh, security doors things along those lines we're talking about the mortise locks uh, the locks that are appearing on more house front doors um, often doors these days on the houses are getting bigger the doors are getting bigger and fatter and so are the people too but we're going to talk about the locks I mean, I guess it's good to have a wider front door for some of the people because now they don't have to turn side on to get through the front door. But, you know, a one metre wide front door is sometimes a bit obscene. The problem is when they go wider on the front door, they also make the door thicker. Where we used to have little tiny uh, 35, 40, now the front doors can be up to about 60, 60 mil. So this creates a problem for us locksmiths. Uh, when a customer wants all their locks key like, generally they might throw... A cylinder on the back door no troubles they might throw a couple of locks room locks around the rest of the property no troubles what we can do is we can actually match it to like a c4 lw5 so lw4 or c4 key and that can be compatible all the way throughout the, the house so this is really good if you've got garages if you've got patio bolts basically just about anything um, in a house we can put on this same key so you can have the whole place key like with no troubles and that's really cool when you have got like a fancy key and then the whole house works on that one fancy key now they've got these big fat doors um, we need to work out something else and the problem is that this is a five pin cylinder so sorry yeah it's a five pin cylinder this is your standard five pin cylinder and the size of this one here is about 60 mil <clears throat> now 60 mil on a 70 mil door or 80 mil door is just going to look shocking so this is what it looks like on a this is what it looks like on a 70 mil door basically there you can barely get your key in the escutcheons at the front and you know it's just not going to work even getting your key in a lot of the time you can't get past the escutcheon so you actually do need that cylinder to protrude through and at least have a couple of millimetres protruding through otherwise you're not going to be left with a very good job so what do we do with big fat doors well we do have other cylinders uh, like these ones with the turn that's good that will give us more room on the on the tail end because often some of these locks can be offset as well uh, often you can uh, you can get away with that on the inside so if that was right up to the edge there almost just get away with that and that would be passable so if your door is more meat on the back than the front you might be able to get away with that the other option we got is the cylinder which we're going to talk about now real quick just going to pop that one back this cylinder here this is available on our uh, lock shop as well just look it up by the part number so here we have an extra large extra large cylinder so this is 90 mil from this side to this side as you can see there's a big difference meaning that it will be able to reach the escutcheon and protrude through the door so you're going to be left with a nice finish now the, the thing is with this one that makes it actually so good is it's actually a five pin key a lot of the times when you have a lock like this the tip of the key goes in pushes a little part in the middle and activates this drive section here if your key is too short a lot of the time it wouldn't push it so you could spin your lock round and round and round but it wouldn't actually drive the middle section so these particular cylinders are designed to drive that middle section even though they've got a shorter key which is excellent because now we're back in the running for one key to suit the whole house these ones here come key to differ which means that if you do want more than one and you want the key to like you just got to select key like or let us know and uh, yeah you can now set up your whole house to uh, one key this was a big problem for quite some time because if you had a short key you couldn't you know activate uh, a bigger cylinder these cylinders do come in five pin and then the six pin slightly bigger but this one here is actually a five pin and it has the length on it as well so gets us out of trouble for big fat doors one meter wide doors or doors which have um, 
large furniture or doors that are thicker than normal gates side doors doors with cladding things along those lines so a great little product to have worthwhile having in your car if you're a locksmith i find uh, at least two to three times a year I'll turn up to a job and the standard size cylinders just won't actually protrude through the front which means that it's a very ugly job and a not not a passable job if your cylinder is below the actual escutcheon in my opinion and these are a fixed cam this little part here is fixed but this one isn't because it's uh the way it's driven the parts and inside but it is for a fixed cam type of lock and the way to tell that is when you take your cylinder out it should actually be fixed this one here is a special particular setup it will work on a fixed cam situation not on a screen door okay this is available from our lock shop here's a part number once again 31905PHESCKD okay so that's the big fat cylinder for big fat doors for people with big houses thank you